closed. If you live here in Berlin, you might want to steer clear of the city's southern suburbs at the moment to avoid running into a lioness. The big cat is believed to have been on the loose since at least the early hours of today when she was caught on camera by witnesses in the suburb of Klein Machno on uh, Berlin's outskirts. Now, police have mounted a massive search operation to capture the lioness. Local residents have been warned to be on guard and to keep their pets and children inside. Police say no zoos, circuses or animal shelters have reported a missing lioness. Bit of a mystery then. Let's go straight to our reporter, Craig Crowther, who is in the suburb on Berlin's outskirts where the lioness is suspected to be hiding. Craig, what is the latest? Any new sightings of this big cat? Hi, Claire. Well, the latest we're hearing is that there have been reports of several suspected sightings this afternoon, but none of these have been confirmed as of yet. And this drama really began to unfold in the late hours of Wednesday into Thursday morning when a member of the public reportedly saw this lioness attacking a wild boar. Now, the investigators have dismissed this attack, but they did take this report incredibly seriously, as you said, advising people to stay inside, to keep their children inside and to keep their um, pets off the streets. Now, in terms of the investigation, in addition to the uh, conventional police who are searching for this big cat, they've also enlisted the help of local veterinarians and also hunters who are more specialised in this type of uh, operation. With regards to the technology, they have helicopters, uh, drones and also an armoured vehicle akin to a tank uh, to try and uh, locate the lioness. But as yet, this has proved fruitless and the lion is still very much on the loose. Yeah, and given that, how have residents been reacting to the news? There's certainly no sense of uh, panic. Uh, people seem to be adhering to these uh, safety protocols which have been uh, put in place and they cover really quite a large extensive area of around 230 square kilometres, not just here in the suburbs on the outskirts, but also right up to and including uh, the city limits of uh, southern Berlin. On the drive down here uh, this afternoon, the roads did appear to be uh, relatively quiet, perhaps suggesting that people are taking uh, this advice to stay off the street seriously. Or they were, I have to say, a few people out taking a stroll in the afternoon summer sunshine, several people on their bikes and even one or two people out walking their dogs despite the advice to keep pets inside until the culprit is no longer at large. OK, they're clearly unbothered then. Well, thank you so much for your reporting. That is Craig Crowther reporting from the search area on the outskirts of Berlin. And I'm now joined in the, stu in the studio by Herbert Hofer, director of the Leibniz Institute for Zoo and Wildlife Research here in Berlin. Uh, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Let's clear one thing up right away. Do you believe that this is a lioness? Yes, it is a lioness. Although I might add that uh, I think my Tanzanian friends would think it's quite funny to th <laughs> consider this a newsworthy item. <laughs> OK, maybe in Tanzania, but here in Berlin, this is highly unusual, right? Absolutely, because lions belong in Tanzania, but not here. OK, so where do we think this lion came from? The <clears throat> zoos are saying they're not missing lions. We've heard um, nothing from circuses. So where do you think it might have come from? I think that is the most important question, because there's only four places where they could come from. As you mentioned, zoos, circuses, private holdings that have been approved, or illegal private holdings. So there are private holdings um, that approve somebody to own a lion yes. in Brandenburg or Berlin? Well, not in Berlin. In Berlin, it is forbidden to hold uh, cats as a private person or large cats or any other animal. But in Brandenburg and most other German states, it is possible. You have to have an expert certificate. You have to have the official veterinarian check your facilities. You have to prove that you can properly handle it. You have to have the space. You need quite a villa with uh, surroundings to do so. But yes, it is possible in principle. OK, um, so the police have so far also ruled out the possibility of using traps to catch this lion. What do you think the best way would be to try and get her off the streets safely? I don't think uh, she's at, uh, on the streets at the moment. She's most likely either in the forest and Berlin has extensive forests in the southwest or in a peaceful areas such as a cemetery. Again, Berlin has many cemeteries. It would be a fantastic place for an animal to hide. Yeah, also potentially a dangerous one. What kind of harm could she do to people or animals if they come across her? Normally, uh, not much, because 
as long as you don't surprise animals, they will not feel frightened. If they don't feel frightened, they will no, not feel the need to defend themselves. And, and a lion that attacks you is a lion that defends itself. We are not in the prey scheme. I was discussing this with colleagues earlier. If you were to come across this lion, how should you behave? Should you try and make yourself bigger or should you <clears throat> avoid eye contact? What would you recommend? Uh, both. You would avoid eye contact and you would make yourself bigger. But f first of all, you would not uh, run away screaming. You would uh, st stop and stand and you let the animal look at you to see what you do and then you look at the animal to see what it does and then it has the control of the situation and in 99 out of, uh, out of 100 cases, they will simply vanish. Okay, well, that's good news. I'm also still intrigued by what you told me about how it is possible to own these big cats in Brandenburg. Can you tell us a little bit more about what that process li looks like? Who are the people who own these animals? They would have to be uh, wealthy people because you have to have a larger villa or a larger piece of ground. And, of course, the costs of keeping large cats in a, the appropriate manner is quite prohibitive. So it would be somebody's rich hobby, somebody who is very rich. And as far as you know, we haven't heard from anywhere that somebody is reporting one of these registered animals missing. Absolutely correct. And this is the real mystery. So it's clear lions can't drop out of the sky, not in Germany, <laughs> at least. Luckily. And uh, so this is the big question. That also makes it more difficult to find it because we don't know, was it a cat that was raised in human, by humans in close contact? So is it really a cuddly cat or is it actually a wild animal that would rather not see humans? And that makes it very difficult for the people who have to do it now. Well, thank you so much for joining us to speak about this issue. That's Herbert Hofer, Director of the Leibniz Institute for Zoo and Wildlife Research. We really appreciate you taking the time. You're very welcome.